Hi, everyone. I'm Carolyn Winter, a holographic coach, resonance repatterning practitioner. I'm here with my friend and colleague, Sophia Avramidis. Sophia, welcome. Thank you, Carolyn. It's good to be here. Nice to have you. Well, Sophia just finished taking one of the resonance repatterning classes, uh, tied it together with some other things, and was really inspired with the topic for World Peace Hologram. And when she approached me about it, I said, yeah, let's take a look at that. Sophia, tell us, what was the topic that uh, got sparked for you in this class? Well, it was during a conversation with a friend about uh, Donald Trump's recent comments that were caught on tape, uh, his derogatory comments about women and open bragging of sexual assault that has outraged many. And it was the realization that uh, he's actually highlighting a bigger issue in our society, which is an a pervasive lack of respect and valuing for women. Uh, Michelle Obama actually made a very a fantastic speech about this recently. Yes, yeah, she really did, didn't she? She, um, I mean, and her response to this was, you know, because they've been back and forth in the media, but her response was, my goodness, we're, we're taking this as women as the status quo, and how awful is this? not just for women everywhere, but our children and the next generation. And her final words were, we don't need to keep it the status quo. We can change this. And I know there's change like this and needed around the world. It's not just American politics that is highlighting this issue. There's other examples. Wouldn't you say, Sophia? Well, yes, of course. Then there are many countries where the position of women is much worse than in our country. Take, for example, in uh, Malala, who could not go to school when she was because she was a girl, or in South Africa, where women are not uh, allowed to drive. Uh, sorry, Sa uh, Saudi Arabia, not South Africa. Yeah, <laughs> South Africa has other issues for women. South Africa, I'm sure they do. Yes, yeah. and uh, given actually that women and children are often the uh, first victims of war, uh, it, it, is, it wouldn't surprise me that if every single person on earth at the moment had an ancestor who either perpetrated or was the victim of sexual assault. And that kind of energy, it stays with us, doesn't it? It really does. It, it becomes, no matter who you are, you're quite right. Like any previous generation that's experienced this lack of respect, devaluing of women, a family member, of the community that we've come from, it's a frequency we now hold in our energy field. And for most of us, it might just lie dormant. It never really gets activated. But it does get activated when we see uh, things like this current uh, horrible American rhetoric in the current political cycle. It's just um, activating a lot of people's uh, issues around, um, around women and how women are treated so unfairly and you can just see that in the example of you know the the women who were assaulted coming forward after all these years finally feeling like maybe there's some support and they're now being denigrated as well um in you know various speeches or whatever um it's terrible <laughs> i mean it's just something that i don't think you know um for sure, we don't need to, like Michelle Obama says, it's time to change that pattern. We don't need to accept the status quo. Yes. Right? That's fantastic. So, well, what can we do about that? We can repattern it. <laughs> um, so all of us hold, the only reason we can notice these patterns is because we hold the frequency for it in ourselves. What we resonate with, is what we experience in our outward reality. Lots of quantum physics notions around that. You can Google all of that kind of thing. But what we can do here at World Peace Hologram with resonance repatterning is identify all of our personal issues and what we want instead, and all of our um, issues that we notice around the world, including you know the American elections and things in other countries where women are not being valued or respected, and, um, and what we want instead for that as well. And uh, we'll use that information. Sophia, would you be willing to be the proxy for the hologram for this session? I'd be happy to. 
That's great. Yeah, you'll be holding the energy for everybody that's participating and we'll receive their anonymously. We'll ask for everybody's issues and intentions, submit it anonymously, but you can review them and then that information can be used in the session. So you'll be you'll be our woman of the world. <laughs> Everyone. This isn't just for women, by the way. We you know Sophia, wouldn't you say women are not the only casualties in this de devaluing um, thing that's going on? Yes, of course. And uh, children are often... Uh, men. Even uh, men suffer. ...value and respect by, by adults. And uh, it, 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 if, if you don't have respect for any one member of the society, then you do not have respect for anybody. And we all need to be given the same value, the same rights, the same respect, so that everybody can be happy. Yeah. So let's repattern it. October 29th, come and participate uh, anonymously. Uh, we'll be streaming this uh, session uh, live, and then the recording will be available afterwards. Sophia, I'm really looking forward to working with you on this. I think we can really make a difference on the grid of humanity. Me too. See you Saturday, the 29th. Okay, okay wonderful. Well, bye everyone. Join us then.